Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this semi-abstract ink and watercolour um, sketchbook spread over four pages in my new Indigo Artway um, concertina sketchbook. It's got handmade cotton paper, I think it's cardi paper, it's got a lovely texture to it and if I open up the spread here, sadly um, I got a bit confused and started at the back of the book rather than the front, but never mind. Um, all things being equal, I'm quite pleased with the way it looks, so I'll share my process with you. So um, here's the book, I think it's really nice, I found it on eBay. Um, and you can see how the pages sort of flip and fold like a concertina. Um, and I just think there's quite interesting and exciting opportunities here to explore um, a sort of freer way of um, drawing and painting, um, which is what I've been trying to explore with my two previous ink experiments. So I'm using my glass pen again and dipping it into uh, Van Dyke Brown Dr. P.H. Martin's watercolour ink, and I shall use some um, of the black of the same brand. Now, very similar to my previous um, two experiments, which if you want to check them out, just look at the playlist titled um, Quick and Easy. Um, I'm just going to really roughly and loosely just um, uh, draw in with the ink um, some rough trees, just going to draw a few trees across the spread here and there. But every now and again, just before the ink is dry, I'm going to um, spray it with some water using my misting spray. It's a hairdresser's misting spray, the type you can find on sort of Amazon, eBay, that sort of thing. And it releases a long burst of extremely fine water spray. And what that does is when it comes in contact with the wet ink, it sort of pushes the wet ink out in tiny little pretty shapes and flows. And because my board's at an angle of 45 degrees, my usual angle, um, then the ink and the water sort of flow down the page as well as spreading out from the impact and directionality of the water misting spray. And it can create some really pretty effects. As you can see here, where the ink is bursting out, it's sort of bursting out around the smaller branches and ending up looking sort of like twigs or ivy or anything like that. I mean, it's just fun to play with textures. You can see as I build up across the spread, um, it's building up and it's looking quite interesting. Don't be too nervous of how dark it looks. It always seems to lighten up if you use plenty of water and you could dab off a bit of the ink as you go. And also once you put some, once it's completely dry because this ink is waterproof once dry, um, putting a bit of color with it really pushes the ink work back in a way and um, and really pulls the painting together. Even if it looks a bit dark, just press on because you'll be surprised at how light it actually dries back. So for this first experiment, nothing fancy, just, just repeated tree shapes, which is just, you know, using sort of using the nib of the pen to, and also um, a fine calligraphy paintbrush at times, just to paint in um, sort of gnarled trunks and just branches, interlacing and interweaving, um, swapping between the brown and the black ink. And then we're almost there. You can put as much or as little detail as you want. So I was planning on just painting across three pages, but I've gone on to four. Now it's, um, it's almost dry. You can see I've smudged it slightly, but I don't mind. Um, that's just one of those things. I was a bit impatient. So I'm wetting it with water with a large um, Pro Art Ron Runtz and Harky brush. And then I'm gonna really roughly and really loosely um, put plenty of cerulean blue and sap green across the four pages. 
And that's all I'm going to do. So that's putting in a bit of sky and in a moment with the sap green, a little bit of land. Getting a bit of variety of tone across the sky, leaving a few parts unpainted or very faint paint. And then just a little bit of sap green for canopies that will um, soften and diffuse and dry back a lot lighter. Well, I think that will just about do. I'll leave it to dry completely. So here we are um, back again to have a look at the results. And as you can see, um, I think it looks quite interesting. I like the way that the folds interact with the way the painting works and reveals itself as you open out the concertina folds. I think it's really interesting and I think I'm going to enjoy doing more work like this into the book and kind of, um, you know, using multiple pages to um, explore and experiment with ink and watercolour and anything else that I decide to add into these kinds of um, fun experiments. So do let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've had a go at anything similar or if you've tried anything else that you think I might be interested in experimenting with. Um, so thanks so much for watching and thank you so much to my lovely Patreon group who support this channel. And if you're interested in lots of exclusive and more in-depth tutorials and demonstrations, then please follow the link below to my Patreon group. I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.